Do people also then acquire a label that at least they can identify so that they know what's, you know, they think they know what's going on? I am a chronic pain sufferer. Does that, does that happen? Well, it does. <clears throat> but when you get that label put on you, it means you're sort of giving up hope. And that's sort of a problem. So what the program has evolved into, and again, this basically evolved, there's nothing actually new. There's not one part in the program that's new, but it is a framework that organizes the concepts of pain and it organizes the care in a way that allows you to organize your thinking, but also organize your treatment. So the medical system is never gonna change. Your chronic pain needs are simply too complicated for any one system or person even to solve it. So what the DOC program does, and it stands for Defined, Organized, Comprehensive Care, is to educate you to all the variables that affect pain. And once you understand the variables, you can deal with all of them in a systematic way. Then you take back complete control. I have written a book that we're trying to get accepted for publication called Back in Control, A Spine Surgeon's Roadmap Out of Chronic Pain. And the idea with the book, the website, the outlines, these interviews, is to give you 100% control so you take your life back. This book is a little different in that I'm a surgeon. So I get paid very, very, very well to do surgery. So one of my points in my book is that when your spine surgeon says, don't do surgery, you better listen. So I still don't get paid very much to talk. I get paid very well to do surgery. I get paid very well to try to salvage people who have had surgeries that they didn't need. So it's frustrating for me because I can salvage people to a certain degree, but I can't come close to getting back to what they would have been if I had seen them before they had any surgery.